Hi folks, my name's Sam from Helpful Home DIY and today I'm going to very quickly show you how to prepare plastered walls for painting. Mostly using this stuff to be honest. Okay, so if you've just plastered your walls yourself and they're, they're not quite bang on perfect or if you've had a plaster in um, and there's a few little bits here and there that need sorting out before painting, I recommend you just spend a bit of time on getting that right because it's far easier to sort it out before you paint. Um, the first thing to do is we need to check to see how bad the wall is. And there's a very easy way to do this, obviously just looking at it. But the other way is if you get a torch or a lamp or something and shine it along the wall so it casts the light along the wall um, and then any lumps and bumps that cast shadows will uh, be easy to spot. Obviously once you've done that then you can get on sorting them out. So I'll jump straight into it and the first one is, is just very basically sanding down the plaster. Okay, so if you've plasterboarded the wall yourself and you've not done it much before, if at all, like, like me, then you're bound to have some dips and bumps and things like that that you need to sort out. It's inevitable. Um, if you've got a plasterer to do it and uh, you've had some lumps and bumps, then uh, call them back and have a few words. But it's quite easy to sort these bits out, so don't worry. All you'll need is 120 grit sandpaper. Obviously if it's a big bump then you want to look at filling it in, but anyway, 120 grit sandpaper. Let's use this one as an example. Um, you just rub it around in a circular motion and it actually just smooths it out nicely. So we've got, still got some fine dust on that. Um, now you notice I use my hands to do that. Don't press too hard. Just let the, the sandpaper on the flat parts, don't, don't fold it, just let the sandpaper do the work and you'll see that it, it quite easily just smooths out that lump. Try not to use uh, sanding blocks with this because um, you don't want to get a big area just, just locally around where the uh, lump or the lump is. That's a bit dusty, just give that a wipe, it's nice and smooth. So a few other things that uh, I had to do to sort out my plaster because it was the fast, first time that I'd plastered. The first couple of walls in particular had uh, lumps and bumps all over them. So instead of sanding all these individually, um, what I did is I just got a vibrating sander and it has a pad about that big where you put some sandpaper, uh, attach some sandpaper on and you just do the whole wall in the one. It created a lot of dust, but uh, it's spot on. I mean, I painted it now and it looks great. So the other place you need to think about is along the corner beading of the windows. Uh, remember, we put the metal strip in there, yours might be plastic. So you can just see a bit of the metal here, but some places the plaster's sort of just a, a bit sort of lumpy. That's fine. What you want to do is just sand that off down to the metal itself, just to get that nice straight edge. Okay, so you can see the metal there, and uh, that, that will give a really nice clean edge. When there are bits of plaster sort of branching out, which happens when you're plastering it, don't be tempted to get at it with a scraper because it'll just, just knock off big um, chunks. Unless it's a big lump coming out, that is. Um, if you need to, if it's a particularly big lump, then using 120 grit sandpaper will probably be a bit slow. Go start off with something like 80 grit, uh, maybe even 60 grit, and then work your way up to finish on 120 grit. If you've got quite a few lumps and bumps, uh, and you also need quite a bit of sandpaper uh, to even them all out because it fills up the pores in between the sandpaper quite quickly with plaster. Um, Good sandpaper, this stuff here is brilliant. There you go. Good sandpaper, look, it'll cost a bit of money, but um, to save a bit of money, just because it's clogged up doesn't mean it's still not good for using. You just need to get rid of the plaster. Quite an easy way of doing that. Hoover with a brush attachment. Good to go. One other common problem is when it comes to um, painting is sometimes even with a mist coat, so a watered down coat of paint, it doesn't adhere to the plaster. The number one reason for that is because that the plaster has been uh, shined off too much. So it's, it's been the, the final skin and plaster has been worked so much with some water that it just looks 
uh, like a sheet of glass, obviously a pink sheet of glass, but it looks really shiny. Um, you're not actually meant to do that as a plasterer um, because obviously it, it, it's so shiny that the paint can't stick. Um, but there is a way to sort it out, is, is just get some fine sandpaper, 100 or 120 grit, and just lightly go over that. It'll get rid of the glossy surface um, and it'll give the paint something to attach to. And finally, there might be areas where you've got some gaps, say, in between the edge of the plaster and the architrave, that's a wooden frame around a door frame, um, or maybe the odd gap here and there in a corner. Um, so the best thing to do with those is literally just to make a little mix of plaster and fill it with the trowel so that it's nice and flush with your uh, existing plaster. Um, those kind of filling bits are susceptible to drying out quite quick, mostly because they're actually attaching to the old plaster which will suck out moisture. So just keep an eye on those um, and just have a painter's brush and a tub of water or something like that to hand so that every 10 minutes for the first say hour to an hour and a half, if it looks like they start to have some cracks form where it's drying out too quick, to get the brush with water and just paint over that and what it'll do is it'll uh, blend that gap with the rest of the wall. Um, like I said, for the first hour to an hour and a half you need to keep an eye on that. And finally, one last thing, um, it's slightly going off topic, but it's regarding the next step in the process, which is putting the first coats of paint on the on the newly plastered wall. I want to say this now, um, before you go ahead and, and paint the walls, is don't cover it with PVA. You'll see why in my next video, which will be about painting the first coats onto that plastered wall. But for now, just don't put PVA on the plaster. Okay, folks, very quick one, but thanks for watching. I hope you found that useful. If you've got any other suggestions on how to prepare plaster for before painting, please leave them in the comments section below and um, I'll respond and then everyone could benefit from your question and my answer. Please subscribe to my channel, it all helps. And as always, I put a little bit more information on my website. So if you go to www.helpfulhomediy.co.uk and then on the menu at the top there'll be the how-to bit, click on that and then you'll, you'll see uh, the blog post for this where I just put a bit of extra information. Okay, thanks for watching, see you next Saturday. So I've sunk down the plaster and the window. This is for the... What's this for? <laughs>